Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome Cross Watchers. Let's take a look and see what's manifesting for you all, what's coming in for you, any messages or advice, what you need to know right now in your current situation in May. And the chances that you see this out time of May, outside of May, and it resonates, the message is yours. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually golden on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallyglowy.com, for you to view all of the different options for readings. Okay, so love begins, new love. This could be a new person coming into your life, a new friend, a new relationship, and it's just the beginning. I'm seeing multiple options. If you're single, I see you dating. Like, I see you having some sort of roster where <laughs> you, got, you got dates lined up, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, lunch, dinner, you know, like you have, you have all these opportunities lined up for you. Even if it's not in love, you have so many options to choose from. And this may be hard if you're an indecisive person like me, <laughs> trying to figure out what's the best option, what is going to, um, lead to the best outcome okay this can be a block even even though this is a blessing having so many options and choices and possibilities like this is abundance it can also be a block it can also be a situation where you may get confused like what do i want or what is the best choice what is going to lead to the best outcome whatever you choose will lead to the best outcome. Um, don't, don't stress yourself too much over it. But we got the magician. Prosperity begins. This is the beginning of something beautiful. Okay. I see you seeing rewards. And the great thing is, is that it's all the beginning. We have so many ones. One is a new beginning, okay? Multiple new beginnings, meeting new people, having new experiences this month, doing new things, a new career opportunity, a new side gig, or a, a new hobby, new meeting new people. It's just so much new, fresh, fresh energy. And this month is like, you can really do anything. You're showing up as a magician. You have everything that you need to manifest whatever outcome it is that you want with whatever choice it is that you choose okay for some of you um last month you may have had some conflict all right and you're coming out of that now what is this conflict it's five of swords there's someone who's been like um Some of, I'm picking up like someone who's been passive aggressive almost. What is this? Okay. Mm. This could be somebody in a community. Somebody who you are just like no longer in a commitment with, no longer committed to because of the emotional, mental stress that it put you in. And now you can celebrate. It's like you can celebrate now. Three of Cups. Some of you may literally be celebrating something. Eat, drink, be merry. That's what this is about. Having a good time, enjoying your time, and not not worrying about the future, not worrying about the past, but having and enjoying the moment as it is. As it is. Okay. Yeah, again, we got the Fool. So... You're committing to taking a risk 
something new though, okay? Something new, someone new, a new job, whatever it is new, you're taking that leap. And this is also the energy of like adventure. You being really like carefree and it really serving you this month. It really bringing out um, a light energy freedom, okay? You're being freed of something. You're being freed of like a, a, a situation that has um, stressed you out, breaking free from a, a cycle. This is about feeling freedom, having freedom to, to do what it is that you want, feeling that sense of freedom, being free to, to choose what you want to choose, to to act on what you want to act on. And five of wands reverse, freeing yourself from any drama, any negativity, okay? Any chaos. It's like you're free from that now. The world, that chapter is, it's over. There's no, there's no more repeating it. You're on to that next chapter in your life here where it's a chapter of just having fun. It's a chapter of just celebrating. It's a chapter of just enjoying your life, enjoying the people in your life. Uh, someone is really putting in the work when it comes to a situation with you. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Someone's really focused on creating something positive. Eight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. They're very determined to prove their actions to you. Okay, this could be someone that you work with, Ace of Pentacles. Again, this could be a new opportunity, a new job offer that is very abundant that you'll be celebrating. Okay, but again, we have love. So this is, a, this is someone committing to you. Committing to a new relationship with you, putting in the work with you, and putting in the time, the energy, the investment, only to you, okay? This person is focused, laser-focused, tunnel vision. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about this situation with you this month. Okay. Oh my gosh. So, some of you could be dealing with a Libra, strong Libra here. There's also Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And I do see this person is really stressing over something, over the situation, maybe even in solitude. So this could be somebody who's really in solitude right now. They're worried over something. They're I'm seeing afraid or triggered. Okay. Justice reversed. So this person could be feeling like something's unfair. Okay. Um, they're seeing you as an emperor's reverse. So it could be that maybe you're no longer nurturing this situation or something something that you did before in this month you may have stopped or something has kind of went stagnant in a situation and they're they're maybe reading more into it than than they need to cuz this is this is all about like fears worries that are not actually manifested that is not that's not actually reality or, or what's 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 happening this is thinking about the worst case scenario that could happen but hasn't happened so if you have a libra in your life check on your fellow libras because <laughs> or this person in your mind check on them because they're stressed stressing um I'm getting another storyline where this could be someone who's um, re being restricted by some sort of contract that they're in, restricted or um, tied down to, them, to a different situation, and they're afraid that 
they won't be able to get out of it in time is what I'm hearing. Get out of it in time or get out of it um, to be able to come towards you. But the thing is, Eight of Swords Reversed is showing me this person um, coming out of this like, this like fear mindset and coming towards you in a better place mentally in the month of May. Even if they are freaking out, this is them being like, you know what? The only person that's holding this situation back is me or I'm the only one that's holding this back or I'm the only one that is freaking out. And let me just look at this from a different perspective, a different lens and give this the benefit of the doubt. Clarify the eight of swords reverse. Yeah. So they're, they're going to come towards you showing up as their better self. As their better self. And I just realized we have the Empress and the Emperor. So showing up in a way that they can match your energy. Instead of coming from a place of being triggered, afraid, and um, thinking of like the worst that could happen. This is um, uh, breaking free from their own their own fears to make up make a solid plan here to match your your energy and have something balanced and equal with the scales here okay they want something to balance itself out match your your empress energy it's almost like they they see you in such a high regard where these fears are coming from a place of like, what if I'm not good enough, right? What if I'm not enough? What if I'm not good enough for, for Taurus? What if I, what I'm doing is not enough? It's this like, that's the mindset that they're coming from. But they're putting in the work towards being a stable version of themselves here. All right. Okay, so there's a deepening of a commitment, a relationship, probably by the end of the month. This could happen over drinks or you may end up um, getting drinks with someone. Okay. This feels like it happens really suddenly or in a way that feels very magical. Tell me more. This I'm also seeing like whatever you're you're manifesting right now is by the end of the month you're suddenly seeing it becoming a reality. It's like, "Oh, snap. This is actually this is actually happening." And it's just the beginning. This you're going to see just the beginning of your manifestation. And it's going to feel like a lot, but there's more to come. A sacral chakra energy. This is your sense of like creativity, pleasure. This month, it feels like a month of pleasure and um, doing things that bring you pleasure, happiness, and bring out a sense of creativity within you. I'd love that for you. Okay. So I'm seeing the numbers five, eight. Three, nine, one, 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 seven, and seven, seventy-seven. So one, one, one. That could be a synchronicity that you're seeing, or seventy-seven could be a synchronicity that you're seeing. But they could also be birthdays or special days. Uh, I'm picking up on the letter S. Y G. N D O. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.